having a pee break up here in the mountain in the morning. Uh, on the way to Calgary, <laughs> look at these freaking mountains. It's such a damn cool drive. Last time everybody loved the footage in Banff and Lake Louise, well Banff, and we're gonna go to Lake Louise today, which is another Banff, look at this big, there you go. Got the sun out of the way. There's just mountains all around us. It's so damn cool, just, man, it just smells like freaking earth. It smells like fresh air. Ah! It's so damn cool. So yeah, I'm gonna pee and show you some more of this beautiful freaking Alberta country, nature. Are we still in BC? No, BC. BC nature, hell right. Hey everyone, real quick I want to thank sponsor today's video being Gemstone Legends, a new free-to-play turn-based RPG and match three game. So first you can start by downloading the game, the link is down below, and use the code hashtag Joel hashtag in the chat box to claim your free new sign up reward. So what is Gemstone Legends? Gemstone Legends is made by RPG enthusiasts for RPG enthusiasts and those who kind of want to combine the genres and have an incorporation of a match three game in there. You have puzzles, strategic thinking, the ability to upgrade your heroes, you have guilds, you have a PVP arena as well. So you can collect armor, you can collect weapons, you can explore the world, you can get allies such as dragons, in which you can even become a dragon rider in Gemstone Legends, and then the dragons can actually help you out in battle. And like I said, with the PVP arena, you can play with individuals from all over the world. So you want to play with yourself or play with other people you're set and then if you want to join a guild together you can ultimately team up to fight bosses and then win more rewards when it comes to the puzzle aspect you have different movements being like diagonal horizontal and to make it even more complex and more fun you and your pony can actually use the same board so ultimately what are you waiting for use that link down below get started by downloading gemstone legends right now and use that code in the chat hashtag joel hashtag to get a sweet special Special startup bonus. And this offer is only available for three hours from the time of downloading Gemstone Legends, so definitely act quick. Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we're in Calgary, Alberta. Super excited. Today we're at the Pig and Duke. Pig and Duke Pub. Here with my good friend, Mr. Scott. If you don't know Scott, now you do. Look, I got myself a, also a YouTube shirt. I figured I had to. I also forgot my Happy Healthy Hunger shirt. But anyway, so we're here to do their big pig burger challenge so it's like I don't know I don't even know what it is but it's massive it looks really big uh, there's been over 600 attempts there's only been I think about nine winners so it seems pretty difficult uh, we have no clue how much it weighs but we're gonna have 40 minutes to beat it I know it has beef and pulled pork somebody has squeaky brakes and uh, Scott are you starving brother you know I'm always starving well, I'm actually starving so let's go eat everybody so here we are with the pig burger it looks very delicious so essentially we have like four buns four pieces of bread four layer we then have a what is like a pound and a half ish uh, beef patty which is made with pork beef and wagyu so i guess there's pork in there as well we then have pulled pork ham a whole bunch of veggies on the bottom you get to pick a side um, we have an array of like french fries or salads we want a soup it's like we never get a half no, soup no. so might as well so we're gonna have 40 minutes we're gonna start here just momentarily but I'm ready. It yeah, smells good. Yeah, yeah, smells I smell good. pickles though. Scott doesn't like pickles, but oh, it smells good. Okay. So That's we'll good. get started. Okay, so the challenge starts. We take our first bite. I guess their suspected record is about 30 minutes. So we'll go with 30 minutes. And we have 40 minutes to do it. The top, like the burger patty is still super, super, super hot. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we kind of, we're doing another challenge after, so we're kind of on a time limit. But, um, yeah. So Scott, say it count of five. Okay. Five, four, four, three, two, one. Enjoy! Fishy. Hot. 
Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we take on the big pig in Calgary, Alberta at Pig and Dukes. So basically this was a massive burger challenge. Um, it had not only a beef patty, it had pulled pork, it had ham and I think bacon on there as well. Um, so a variety of different meats, but all very, very delicious. So hence called the big pig. Um, you also had some vegetables, you also had guacamole on there, uh, not to mention some cheese. Um, so yeah, definitely a nice array, onion rings as well, and then you gotta choose your side. Uh, we went with soups, but I mean you had actually a very vast option, like fries, salads, pretty much anything and everything you could think of, which was very unique, because most challenges you can't just choose any side. Mm. Very good. Pull pork really good. Nice and cooked. Really soft. Yeah, and they cook the burgers properly, not very The record was believed to be about 30 minutes, um, and the Kenya had the 40 minute time limit. Um, there had been a huge number of attempts, like I said at the beginning, like 600 plus attempts, um, and only a handful of winners. So it really just kind of goes to show that, you know, it, it does have some difficulty with it. Um, me and Scott, of course, were pretty excited to get into this. We both had actually wanted to do this challenge uh, last time we were in and around Calgary. However, uh, they were closed at the time, so we were very happy that they were open this time, and we were able to come by and finally do this Pig and Dukes challenge, which we, again, wanted to do, well, for quite a while now. We're both a big fan of burgers. We're both a big fan of, like, pulled pork, so we figured it would be the perfect challenge to do so. Um, and everything was tasting really good. It was pretty funny. The uh, staff at the restaurant, um, at first, were kind of like, Oh, okay, these guys are here to do the challenge. But once we started, once we got into it, then we really started to captivate some of their attentions. They were literally like, wow, these guys are pretty serious. Uh, to which, I mean, arguably, I guess you could say we are. Um, so while there definitely is quite a bit of bread in this challenge, uh, we were lucky that the bread was soft. Um, I'm, of course, using ketchup to dip my burger in, as, again, I love ketchup. Ketchup is a great addition. Um, but let me know right now, real quick down below, what do you think of my shirt? Did you like it? I think it's pretty cool. Like I said, I forgot my Happy Healthy Hungry shirt, so I had to grab a YouTube Joel Hansen shirt. I think it's something that I'm going to maybe wear around for a while. So we're three minutes, 15 seconds in. Going good, Scott's doing well. Let's get all this bread done. Well, it's very saucy. It helps go down. We also had some friends and subscribers come out to support us. That was super cool, so thank you to them. I uh, always appreciate people coming out. It's always nice to meet the individuals who not only watch our videos, um, but you know, also comment the individuals that you see other also watching the videos, the individuals that you talk to in the comment section. So it's pretty cool to kind of put names to faces and vice versa. Um, yeah, so it was really cool. Always glad to meet people. Um, Calgary was definitely a happening spot, I will say that. Um, definitely lots of people out and about. In fact, we were pretty surprised how many people were out and about. Um, that we were there on, I believe, a Sunday night, Saturday or Sunday night. And uh, it was just, it was lit, to like put it that way. People were just everywhere and having a, ultimately a good time. Four and a half minutes, it's hot in here. I'm mm -hmm. using cold, but it's hot, man. Kind of where we were in the restaurant right by the window um, is very, very warm, just I guess from the sun and the combination of everything. So this is like an odd challenge. It's very odd for me to ever say that I was hot during a challenge, but I was hot during this challenge. Um, but at that, I think that's pretty much about it. Um, at that, I'll let you get the rest of the video, guys. Hope you enjoy. Hopefully you can get some wins, maybe some new records, and uh, see what happens. Hey, I like them buns. Let's go out the molly on this one. It's not bad, a lot of buns.
don't even have a soup to dip my bread in. Mm -hmm. Italian wedding soup there that we're dunking our buns in. Part of the challenge. finishing up he's down basically his last quad and then a little bit of soup so we'll tune on in as he continues to finish that we've got a new record scott's well ahead of the old record as well and uh yeah no complaints
John just finished as well. About 10 minutes, 45 seconds. So absolutely killed it, dude. Thank you. Congratulations. Good job. It's definitely like, so it's hot out there. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of yeah. seen, we're both kind of breaking the sweat. So everybody, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's challenge. So new records, Pig and Dukes for that. We get meals for free. No complaints. That's a good food job. Yeah. Awesome. Bye, everybody. Until next time, stay happy on the hungry. Happy eating. You know what to do. Don't do as we do. Hey. <laughs>
And here we are again up in the mountains. So again, just like mountains all around us. We're kind of by a valley. Here's another obviously very, very large mountainous mountain structure thingy thing. I'll show you this valley. People take pictures over there, but look at this stuff. Holy jumps, wouldn't want to fall down there. And just look at these trees. Like these are full grown pine trees. And you gotta imagine how freaking tall or like high we are up and how tall these things are. And yeah, just crazy. Absolutely insane. And then over here, make sure I don't fall. And we, like there's a great big ridge. You can see what we've been driving through. See like right there. That's a road, you can kind of see the cars going by. Um, that's like the roads we were driving on, all in between like all these cliffs, the rocky cliffs, in between this big crevasse. It's pretty impressive, pretty impressive. And we're in Alberta. You can tell because there's lots of trucks, especially lifted trucks. And of course, there are these great, Big, big mounds. We're getting real close to Lake Louise. Here's water. This is water. It might not look like it, but this is water. Usually it's very clear and blue, but they've had a lot of like rain or something you can tell. So the water tide and current is incredibly strong. Um, so it's kind of brownie. And then obviously just surrounded by these freaking beautiful and massive mountains, which I will say. It's not properly being, you know, encapsulated or captured by all these pictures, but yeah, we're soon to be in the Lake Louise, the Banff area. Here's some people camping and stuff, because that's what you basically do out here. There's a visitor center in Alberta. Yes, we're in Alberta, by the way. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty dang cool. And there's that famous blue water, which literally looks photoshopped. Like, just look at that. Look how damn blue that is. Like, it literally looks fake. It looks like cotton candy or something. And then, again, more beautiful mountains over there, and more beautiful mountains over here, and then lots of trees. And when you go outside, it just smells so fresh. There you go, Lake Louise, 14 kilometers. Just, just under, like, it's like nine miles, so we'll be there soon.